you live here, in an old folks' home? It's a retirement community for active seniors. Hello, everyone. This is Lord Brimstone. And this is up. And we're back with more East, the uh, well, legacy of East. Hopefully, uh, there were some, uh, well, anyway, who is this? Oh, yeah, this is the, uh, talking about Darm, Darm Tower. Anyway, as I was saying, we've, uh, made it to Zeptic Village, finally. And, yeah, I know, it's another town sequence, so bear with it. Uh, after this, we won't have any more major town sequences. And if, uh, this version is similar to, uh, other versions, there's not a whole hell of a lot to do with your early, uh, travels into Zeptic anyway, aside from just talking to everyone. Pretty much. Oh, uh, pay attention to what he said, uh, this is Iris, uh, Apparently, his, uh, her husband named Luther, uh, basically disappeared by sleepwalking. Would that be, uh, Luda Gemma? You would be correct. Yeah, that's one of those names that gets romanized a bunch of different ways, I've noticed. Yeah. I, I, I still, I still find it strange, though, sleepwalking. <laughs> And, as you'll see later on, he gets in the weirdest places. Yeah. And everyone's talking. And you got people talking about how Luther's gone missing and that he's, you know, heartless and all this. And he's actually just... That, what? Sorry. That guy, I wonder if he's implying that he doesn't have a girlfriend or he does have one that just wouldn't give a shit. Uh, no, I think he's implying he wish he had a girlfriend, you know, that could do... Uh, yeah, that's very true. It could go either way. I just find the second scenario strangely amusing. And talking about one of the statues, it went, uh, disappeared. I think there's some foreshadowing there. I don't know. Actually, I don't know if that is foreshadowing or not. And we have Demi Moore here telling us more about the goddesses. Okay, we will do so. And here's the mayor's house, who for some reason looks like Moses or some character out of the Bible. Robel. Yeah. Is telling us about a problem. We'll... Don't worry, your secret's safe on the internet. They have medications for that now, I hear. Uh, <laughs> problems that you can't talk to the villagers about and <laughs> keep secret. Oh, on. So, yeah, we gotta find... Uh, oh, it's not Silver... Yeah, silver Bell now, it's sil Silver Bells. It's Christmas time in the city. <laughs> exactly. Ring-a-ling, hear them ring. Soon it will be... You know, whatever. <laughs> May well, Mayor does kind of look a little like Santa's. Not paunchy enough, but, you know. Ah, oh, sorry, I... Accidental talking to the wrong villager. And that's, I think that's the guy that, in the Turbo Graphics version, says, you know, I heard about the books of East once. Good for you. Yeah. Now he just talks about religion and useless information. Oh, um... Like village? What's that? Is this a retirement village? Yeah, I agree. A lot. Well, they. Some of the guys mentioned, or one of the villagers mentioned that uh, a lot of the older people live here for some reason. And we're talking about the thieves.
Oh, uh, we'll be we'll be there eventually. Not right now. Yeah. Basically, the gist of what he's saying is apparently uh, Manea is getting hit a lot harder uh, for the stealing than uh, Septic. Oh. Well, Septic's the only one that has a notable item stolen. Oh, true. Well, what's interesting is, um, if you notice in stark contrast, you have Zeptic that's this totally open, you know, area. Actually, I think, um, oh, it's mentioned back in Barbado that, uh, you know, while Manea is a wall fortress, like, Zeptic is completely open. Uh, it's believed that the Silver Bells, uh, offer it protection. Yeah, there was someone you talked to a little while ago that mentioned yeah. that uh, that right. they ward off monsters. And there's another weird romanization of Gobon. It's Gobon now. Hmm. Yeah. They both sound uh, workable, I suppose. And now I finally fa find Jeva. I'll... Little confession. It took me a while to find her. Yes. Well, this version, it doesn't seem like you can see very far in any direction because you have one relatively small screen uh, yeah. devoted to the actual yeah. know, main world view. Yeah, pretty much. And we just got the keys and... Oh, why do they have to call it Salmon? Seriously? Mm, it's a tasty shrine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, we'll never go to that shrine. I don't know what Jeff is talking about, you know, it, it disappeared, we'll never see it again. You know, must must have went upriver. <laughs> uh, and, oh wait, I already talked, oh yeah, talking to Demi again. Okay, I think that's everyone I can take off, so, at this point I gotta go through here and see, you know, go to the thieves' den. And we got, uh, blue men. Seems like they drop fairly easily. Yeah. Uh, they also give, uh, out pretty decent gold and, uh, XP. I'll be farming these guys later. Oh, about the combo system, since uh, I just did it up. Uh, you won't see it now, because I didn't discover how it really works to, like, Darm Tower. But how it actually works is you hit the attack button once. After you hit, if you bump into the guy, you'll actually do up to three hits on him. Oh. It's really weird. It's like you have to do the attack, and then, yeah, you play Bump and Go Kart, like, you know, the old uh, East games do. hybridized. Yeah. Actually, um, I also found out uh, that there's actually two control schemes in this game. I'll talk about that later. Anyway. And the Thief Morgan giving us the Golgo 13 treatment. And the Thieves base. <laughs> Reckless little punk. Nice what was that? Nice Fu Manchu he's got going on there. Yeah, I know. What, do you think we sold the Silver Bells? And there's the whole, you know... What do you mean we're a pack of stinking louses? We only steal from the rich. And so I, damn, that's a big chest. Yeah, which are all empty. <sighs> yeah. Live in that. I know, it's like... I mean, those are like big chests from Link style, and those are only for, for like key items, not for, you know, regular Joe Smo items. Yeah. 
Some monsters have sor swords and armor. Well, look outside. There's guys running around with swords and armor, too. Must not get out much. Swords and armor that do pretty much nothing to protect them and do one point of damage to you, but... <laughs> yeah, but as you will find out that you know, just just like dark, you know, dark towers, that they are pretty nasty. Uh, and we gain a level up, sweet.